hello hello welcome back to mrs always right channel and this is an update for today and please can you join me with this scripture first of all it's always a very big decision of mine to say thank you to god because that is the first thing the first i can do is put put god first in my channel because without god nothing is possible so I use this opportunity to say a very big thank you to God Almighty for his wonderful work in our life. So this is, we're going to talk about many desires to know the future and knowing too much will rob you of the beauty in your present. So we got to let God to deal with our future. When we are consumed with the past or future, you cannot really live in the present. This is where I am and we are now. There is where I'm coming through to you and extended my unending favor. You cannot do anything about what is to come except to wait. That is how we should do. We have to wait. But in your today's, you have the ability and power to see all things become alive that was dead before. So, anything that has happened to you will, that was causing problem is coming alive today for us to be able to see our future that is great. So, speak to what is unproductive and wash it may make it new. So when things that was very bad in your life, you have to speak the word of God to make it a brand new. So it will change from that situation. God will turn it around to make it a new situation in your life. So speak to your circumstances and watch why and watch God's glory will fall upon you. God says, I have not created you as a vessel, a vessel that just get thrown around by the trials that will come. No, I have built within you the tools that will shift and change the atmosphere. So in us, God has created us to be strong and not to be worried or scared about circumstances in life that can make us panic. So that is how God is. God doesn't create us to be panicky about things. So God says, you are my royal sons and daughters. So there's always royal family in God's kingdom. That is real. So we are all royal sons and royal daughters in the family of God. So what resides in our spirit is in God's spirit as well. And nothing is unattainable for those that believe. So take your rod and your staff. See in your mind that what you are. And call down from heaven what is needed. So you can use your mouth. You can use your mouth. So you can use your mouth to talk about Hello. things. So. Sorry about that, we just have to. So we can use our mouth to talk things positively to ourselves. So, also my people have thought for too long that the power available in the Bible is no longer to be on this set. You have been deceived. Have I not said that you will do even greater things in my name? So that is how it is with God. So God's word is everlasting. And you have to take it into consideration and trust in God and believe that anything that is impossible, God can be, can, God can make it possible. 
all the closed doors can be open. And thank you. And bye bye. And bye. Bye bye.